is a problem involving addition and subtraction, and a lot of our students have problems with these word problems. So I'm going to go through and explain how to solve this particular one. While getting ready for the school year, Mrs. Hartland noticed that she had 59 stickers to put in her treasure box. She also found 37 bouncy balls she could put her in her treasure box. After the first month of school, she had 18 students choose a ball or a sticker from the treasure box. How many bouncy balls and stickers does Mrs. Hartland have left? The first thing that your student needs to do is go through and find the important information. Uh, we want to know what our problem is about, so we're going to go look at the question. How many bouncy balls and stickers does Mrs. Hartland have left? So we want to circle bouncy balls and stickers, because that's what we're talking about. And we want to circle have left, because that's important. We also notice that she has 59 stickers. She also found 37 bouncy balls. After the first month of school, she had 18 students choose a ball or a, a sticker from the treasure box. So we know that 18 students took one of those bouncy balls or stickers. So we know that this is both addition and subtraction because we see that they cho the students chose a ball from the treasure box. So this is going to be subtraction. So I always tell the students to find the text evidence and put a little note out that they're going to subtract. We see that there's 59 stickers and bouncy balls, so we're going to add those together. We're going to start our window pane. We're looking for Mrs. Hartland's bouncy balls and stickers. And I tell the students they're welcome to abbreviate anything that they would like. Okay, we're going to go over here. We know that we have bouncy balls and stickers. We don't know our total, but we know we have about 59 stickers and 37 bouncy balls. So we're going to add 59 and 37. 9 plus 7 is 16. We need to remember, a lot of students have problems with this, we need to remember to regroup. 9 plus 7 is 16, we're going to carry our 1. 5 plus 1 is 6, 7, 8, 9, so that equals 96. Now a lot of the students will stop here and say, oh, the answer is 96. But they have to remember to go through, and we're also going to be subtracting. So we're going to take this total, which was 96, away. We're going to take 18 away from that. 96 minus 18. Now, a lot of students forget to regroup. They would do 8 minus 6, but that's not what they want to do. It's, uh, we're doing 8, taking away from the 6, which we cannot do. We're going to cross out the 6, make it a 16. Cross out the 9, make it an 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. So our answer is 78. We want to know how we got that answer. And we added... 59 and 37, then subtracted 18. And that's how you would solve that problem.